Angels, what is going on? The champ Strider here, and uh, I have to apologize a little bit in advance because if I sound a little bit off today or my voice isn't quite there, uh, I caught a little bit of a cold, so it, it's affecting the, uh, the voice quality right now. I know I sound a little bit raspy. So I figured I'll make a shorter video today and something I've been meaning to do, which is kind of end up my uh, my Net Duma videos. I already made two, and uh, I wanted to close it out with one more thing right here. And when you buy a, a Net Duma router, you're basically getting it for the Duma operating system, and that's where you get all those filters that allow you to play on on low uh, ping, and it shows you where all the game servers are for all the common games, so you know how to set your geo filter up. But the thing with it is, everyone calls it just NetDuma and uh, thinks that that's the only router that runs the Duma operating system. But actually, any of the Nighthawk routers also have the Duma operating system, but they're actually on an older firmware. They don't have Duma operating system 3.0 on them. But I'm going to show you guys how to get the Duma operating system beta drivers on your Nighthawk router. So whether you have the uh, the Nighthawk uh, 450, 500, 700, 1000, whatever it is, it's all done the same way in the Duma operating system. And we're going to manually update the firmware into the beta drivers of the Duma operating system 3.0. And I just want to throw this out there. They're beta drivers, so there can be sometimes issues with them. I have never had an issue, so it works for me fine. That doesn't necessarily mean it'll work for everyone, I guess, depending on what you do in the program. All right, so we're already logged into our router. Let's just look at the features that, uh, that we're missing if we just have a Nighthawk router and that we want to upgrade. All right, so if we click over here on the ping heat map, all right, this is what, when we select a game that we want, we'll show you where all of these servers are and how you connect to them for that game. So if you're, I'm going to use Modern Warfare since everyone plays that at Warzone. So it'll show you where your connections are best. So look over here, East Coast by me, 23 ping, 5 ping. This is where then I want to set my geo filters. So when you go over to your geo filter tab, what this uh, this ping heat map lets you do is you have an idea of where to draw your, your pyramid or make your circle so that you know which servers you want to connect to or allow connections to. And again, with that Duma 2.0 that comes on the uh, the Netgear router, you're just shooting blind of making a circle around you know around where you live. And uh, sometimes internet's weird, so you get a better connection to servers in different areas. So it's good to have that ping heat map to know where the best servers are for you. All right, so let's get this Duma 3.0 up on your Nighthawk router. So we are going to go, and I'll link this in the description, to this website right here, netgearinnovation.com dash Duma OS dash beta. And then under there, we're going to click into the beta forums. And if you look at the top here, it's not as easy to navigate as you would figure. You think you would go to like a download page and drivers would be there, but you actually have to click on these forum uh, forum posts and it'll say new firmware XR400, new firmware XR500, 700, so on and so forth until you find the router that you want. So I have the XR500, so I would click on this firmware right here, and then it's in a Dropbox. Click. All right, so I saved it on my desktop. You can save it wherever you want. Just make sure you know where the location is. And it's so simple to get this onto your uh, your Netgear router. Uh, I delayed doing it for a little bit because I was like, oh, this is going to be so complicated. I hate doing things manual. And it's actually like stupid easy. All right, so we head back to our Duma operating system. We're going to click on settings. Then we're going to click on the administration tab. Click on firmware update. And browse. We're going to go to, oh, there's all my videos. We're going to go to desktop, saved it in NetDuma. And this uh, this image file, you just double click it. You hit open. I'm going to cancel because I don't want to do it again. And uh, then hit the upload button, and it will get you to uh, upgrade your firmware. And it takes maybe, I don't know, five minutes? All right, so once the firmware is updated, it will show on this page for you once you uh, once you refresh it. But here's the thing. They recommend that when you upgrade to the new operating system, you go to your router. There's a little um, reset to factory settings button on it. You have to stick like a pin or, or something small in there, like a thumbtack or whatever, and hold it down for 30 seconds. And they recommend that you just completely restore the uh, restore the router after you upgrade the firmware. 
So once you hit that button, the firmware will be on there, but you will have to set up your networks again. I just set it up to the same name, same passwords. It took all of five or 10 minutes. And then I had the, the Duma operating system 3.0 running perfectly fine. They say you can run into issues if you uh, if you don't do that step. But uh, if you want to YOLO it and see what happens, you know, give it a shot and uh, let me know if it worked. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope the video was helpful. If you haven't subscribed yet, become an angel by subscribing. And if you're a regular angel, smash the like button so I get boosted up in the algorithm. See you guys later in the week. Champ, out.